Monday night here at King Street, long border Ralph Bissonette was involved with a confrontation with a cab driver which unfortunately cost him his life. His friends gathered at St. James Park to pay respect to their fallen longboarding friend. Ralph was an awesome, generous person. Uh, he was always in a good mood. He always wanted to be everybody, to be happy. Uh, felt like every time I came in a bad mood, he was always hug me and say, Johnny, man, let's cheer up, man. It's not the end of the world, it'll be another day. So, uh, I'm going to miss that attitude. This incident has raised awareness and concern for longboarders, cyclists, and skateboarders in the streets. Notable skateboarding magazine Concrete Waves, Michael Brook was here on the scene to give us his thoughts about the incident. I still think there's an awful lot of information that we don't know yet. Um, but given sort of the tragedy of all this, I, I, my heart goes out obviously to the family of the skater and to this cab driver who obviously in a moment may have lost it. And it's, it's really unfortunate. It's, it's, a, it's a really dark day. Um, but I'm hoping what it will do is it will make people realize that we, we have to share the road and you've got to be calm behind the wheel and obviously on the board. You know, and there's been too many deaths in the last couple of years. This is two longboarders on King Street I'll have died this year, and like that's too too many. At the spot where Rob Bissonette died, fellow boarders in the community gathered for one last memorial for a fallen longboarder. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Adam Protz.